No exotic birds from all over the world are living right here in Salt Lake City. Dina visited Tracy Aviary that's in the heart of Liberty Park in this sponsored interview. Let's take a look. There are so many ways to come and experience the Tracy Aviary this summer. I have brought my boys here for years. It's something we look forward to so much. What I love about it is it's so close to downtown, but it's a little oasis in and of itself. Laura, thanks so much for having me. Yes, thanks for being here. It's a beautiful day here at Tracy Aviary. It is stunning, such beautiful grounds. And describe what it is. I mean, you have enclosures and exhibits of how many birds, how many species? Um, over about 150 species and about 300 individual birds. That's so many! And we're meeting some today. We just met some of the baby storks that are barely a month old and it's just fascinating to observe. I bet you learned so much, so many facts. Oh yes, every day I'm learning something new. It's so crowded with kids today too because school is out and we're all looking for those things to do with our kids that are fun and also we want to keep them learning and there's no better spot to do that. Let's talk about some of the things that you can learn from and take advantage of here. Yes, so we have everything from bird shows happening daily, um, keeper talks so you can interact with the keeper and learn more about the birds. We have educational programs and tours. And how does that work? I've never actually seen a bird show, an interactive show. What is it like? Tell me about the experience. Bird shows are a really great experience. You get to go into our bird show theater and the birds actually fly right over your head so you get a very nose to beak experience. Oh, how cool! Okay, what am I going to learn from a keeper talk? Yes, so keeper talks happen every day at 2.15 and we highlight different birds every single day and the keepers just give you their, their personal interactions with the birds and their personal stories. Well, kids love facts. They love to have that knowledge and then repeat them to friends, show off what they know. Okay, a bird feeding. Tell me how I might get my kids or myself to do that. Yes, you can feed our pelicans and you can also feed our lorikeets and we give you food and the lorikeets actually land right on you and they eat from your hand. Oh, right there. It's that up close and that personal. Do you have a favorite? I'm sure it's hard to pick, but is there something on the grounds that you just find so beautiful or so interesting? It is really hard to pick, but my favorite I would say is the Kia. They're just so interactive and charismatic. And they're social. They want to come and interact right up close and personal with you when you're here. Okay, what else is happening? You have a busy summer. Yes, yeah, we have our monthly tea times, so you can come and have a, a family-friendly tea time. We also have our new Exploring Nature speaker series, um, and also throughout the summer, we're open late on Mondays for our five after fives. Oh, I love that. Okay, because you're open seven days a week, right? Typically right. nine to five, mm -hmm. but Monday's a little special. You said till eight? Yes, that's right. Oh, and you have a special deal for us on those Mondays. Right, if you buy your ticket in person after five o'clock, it's only $5. Five dollars, you cannot beat that. But let's go back to the tea time real quick. That's something I would love to do. What's that whole setup going to be? Yes, tea time takes place in our historic Chase Mill. We have a, a tea table set up for you. You can try different teas. Um, for Pride Month this month on the 30th, we're actually doing our first drag tea time. So we'll have a drag king and queen. How fun on the 30th and then monthly from there. So if you can't make this one, put it on that summer bucket list. All right, where do we go to get tickets and to learn more? Um, you can find out more at our website, tracyaviary.org. Okay, tracyaviary.org. And so fun just for the kids to run around. It's that unstructured play. It's just being out in nature, seeing the birds roam around. There's nothing like it. It's a special spot. Hey, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for joining us.